Hi everyone, let's continue sentiment analysis of Twitter data in our studio. I have already explained you in my previous video how you have to get API key and I'm sure you did it API key, how you have to download, how you have to copy API keys and after that now we have to run uh, the sentiment analysis using our studio. So what uh, probably we require all the packages, we require our tweet, tidyverse, here is a lubricate, iGraph, tidytext, library tm, require word cloud, ggplot2 and dplyr. So what I will do, I will all these kinds of packages I would run here. So after that, get API keys. I had, we require four kinds of API key. API key one is then API underscore secret, then access token, then access token under, underscore secret. All these four keys we required. I had, uh, I don't want to show this because that is very important and very confidential. So here is, I had converted into star. Right. But whatever you have got key, you have to put here these keys. Right. Then after that, what we have to do, authorize setup underscore default function. Then what we have to do, I have already called all these keys here. Now, first, what we have to do, getting tweets. So I want to get tweets of uh, Draupadi. Uh, Murmum, who is our president recently, uh, recently elected. So this data I required. So I had created this presidential search tweets and at the rate, because I have seen this is the username, right? And I had used this and N equal to 40. I require only 40 tweets. Those I had written on this particular user ID. After that, what I did presidential, then after that head presidential N equal to three. So what I will do when I will run this, you, I have to run this. Now you can see this is the, these are, you can see here, total number of tweets and first three tweets are visible over here. After that, what we have to do, you can see here, Show full text column only for six tweets. All the all the all the six tweets I want to see. You can see here presidential under 40 observations. So how many columns are here? Here is created on which particular date? Date wise, here is this is the these are the dates, right? IDs, ID strings, and here is you can see full text, right? Full text. And after that, here is truncated and other columns also there. So I require, I mean, whether I require text, right? Or I require full text, right? So what we have to do, let me run this again. We will go back to this file. So here is what we have to do. Here is text data, hedge presidential dollar full text. I don't want full text. So I what I will do, I want only text. You can see here, I have shown you what is the difference in between. This is the full text. One, two, three, fourth column. Fourth column is full text. But when we come to the this column, here is this column. There is only text. So I need only text. I don't want full text. So what I will do, I had written text. Right. Let me run this. Then after that, we can see here, this is the text data, right? Text data. Then after that, after that, we can see here, these are the, these are the texts you can see here. These are the tweets we can see here. And after that, show all text, right? So text data, I had created this variable and further, I have to not full text. I don't want full text because I want only text. So here is again, I have to run this, right? And then after that, what we have to do, we are going to create corpus. 
So how we have to, I had given, there is TW underscore document and corpus vector source text data type because this text, this these texts already stored in text data. So let me run this. And after that, what we are doing, we are going to clean our corpus because clean our corpus, that is mandatory. Those are the upper cases we have to, to, to lower down and as well as remove numbers. If there's the, some numbers are available, remove words. So stop words, English. And here is, here is the remove punctuations also. And here is the strip white space means if there is the white spaces available, we have to remove this. So for this purpose, we are going to cleaning our data. Let me run all these things, all four days thing. I mean, we had cleaned our data. Then after that, we are going to use this clean corpus for further analysis. For this purpose, what we have to do, what we have to do here is the data, here is term document matrix, right? We have to run this. And after that, we are we had created metrics, and then we are going to run this. Then further, we are going to sort all these rows, and then we are going to create data. This data frame we are going to store in D, and after that, we are going to run, and then we have to run head. Right. Then finally, we are going to create a bar plot. Right. And we had created this is the bar plot. Suppose I don't want this red color. So what I have to do, I have to use, let's say, blue color. So I had just changed this. So bar plot color that will change. Let me run this. Now you can see. And when you have to zoom this, this is the bar plot. I think size is bigger. So we have to reduce this size also. Then after that, we want to see word cloud. So for this function, we are going to use set.seat123. And after that, I had given this, 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 this command. And now you can see this is our word cloud. So you can see, we can zoom this. This is our word cloud. So PM or P, P, PMO India, that is the maximum time this word has been used. So let me show you this data also, 121 observation you can see right word these are the word this is the frequency so pmo india 32 times and here is acharya this thing 28 times so this in that way is the law is a, as long as your data you can create word cloud through which you can analyze this data so i'm sure this video is helpful to you thank you keep watching